Hello, thanks for joining us. In this video, we'll be looking at showcasing panelizing horizontal structures and roofs within Vertex BD, as well as adding panel breaks and framing to those structures. In order to create drawings and ultimately NC data for the framing of horizontal structures, it is necessary to panelize the area first. Larger areas can be split by using break lines to create smaller panels. However, it is possible to skip this step and move on to panelizing the whole area if you would only like to add one panel to any particular area. This can be done by going into the floor panel menu in the modeling tab and choosing the panel break command, or by clicking on a horizontal structure and either choosing the panel break command from the pane structure tab, or by right clicking to bring up the context sensitive menu and choosing the panel break command there. The cursor will now have a long break line attached to it. Variables can be defined in the contextual toolbar first from the right click menu. Panel breaks added in this way divide the area into fields into which you can also add panel breaks. Select an add in method from the contextual toolbar. These options cover adding in by whole area whilst this cover adding into fields. Here you define seam width and detail between the panels. Now click a location for the panel break or a point from which the division is started. Once you've added all the breaks you require, confirm or quit out of the command in your preferred way. Now you are ready to add in the actual panel or panels if you've added breaks into the horizontal structure. This function can be used to build the floor or roof panels to the structure layer which you have added panel breaks. The layers of the horizontal structure have been selected when the structure was added. You can also include layers above or below the layer in which the panel breaks have been added into the panel. First go to the floor panels menu in the modeling tab and then choose generate panels. After which, you can select the area you would like to add the panels to. Alternatively, first select the area and then choose the command from either the plane structure tab or the right click menu. You can then select the number of layers by utilizing the functions on the contextual toolbar. Select panels to be built by selecting the edge lines of the panels. You can then select all panels by pressing the Ctrl and the A key or draw a box around the ones you wish to panelize. The panel text will then go green for selected panels, then confirm, and then you can select numbering in the dialog box that is displayed, as well as altering framing parameters in here. Choosing joist and support spacing and if sheathing is generated. Make sure the add framing option here is selected, and then once you are happy with your selections, confirm by clicking the OK button and Vertex will then build the panels. From here you can edit the framing by utilizing the framing functions if you're required to do so. Thanks for joining us for this video. Stay tuned for our next in this series which is all about horizontal framing accessories.